guys! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Erica, and this is Stitchy Reese Pieces, where we talk about uh, everything stitchy, mostly cross stitch, but also other stitchy things like crochet and sewing. So, hello! Happy New Year! I hope you are doing well. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Um, I've been really loving seeing you guys comment and talking to you back and forth and just hearing about how you are and watching other floss tubers and so it's been really great to be here and have you join me so welcome uh, so we'll just get started first we'll talk about the stitchy things that I sewed I have been very busy since Christmas time um, and I have a new I don't really tell too much but a new shirt it's just a long sleeve shirt that I sewed and it's a Styla Styla company pattern and it's got these like ruffled sleeves which I just think are kind of fun um, and it's a free pattern by Styla so that's a new shirt that I made and then I also made a very long not quite not a duster length but uh, a long cardigan and this is just super cozy and warm and stretchy and so I really like that so those were two new sewing makes that I have done this week and now we'll move on to cross stitch so I have a lot of things to share with you I have a new system I was going to show you I have new bags that I've made for the shop I have finishes I have whips I have new stars um, so yeah well there's another finish uh, so we can just step right in I guess real quick I'll show you these before I forget and toss them off to the side. If you've seen my other videos, you know that my uh, Etsy shop, Reese Pieces, I make bags, and I make all kinds of bags, but I make stitching bags too. So I have the deluxe cross stitch bag, which has like a half pocket in the front and a full zippered lined pouch. So I'll just show you the new colors that I have up in the shop. I have this polar bear, this beautiful spring one with this like, it's very soft, it's almost suede green. And then this fun crane one. So those are the new, three new um, cross stitch bags that I have in my shop. If you're interested in a cross stitch bag, so there was that. I got start. I did that. And then let's do our finishes. So I have a couple finishes, and I was just experimenting. So on Facebook, one of the groups I'm in, someone was making these beautiful ball ornaments and she would like crochet along the edges and they were just beautiful these are not like that but I decided to get some foam balls and mess around with finishing um, on a foam ball so this is not very professional at all because I was in a hurry and just kind of messing around but it's not terrible it's not the cutest thing I've done but it's not terrible so I just took a little snowman guy that I had done and I got one of those foam balls and I which I think that, so I, I slit the foam ball in the middle and then folded the Ada fabric and kind of stuffed it into the slit and then on the back side, this is really wrinkly because I was in a hurry and I wasn't trying to be a perfectionist, but um, I took some flannel fabric and I put that into the slit and then I like, I hot glued it and then I put ribbon, excuse me dog, <laughs> um, then I put some ribbon to cover up where those two fabrics connected and then I, you know, hung it. So it's kind of cute. I think I can master it a little bit better, but that was my first experiment. But uh, the ones that I saw where she put crochet, she like crocheted around it, they were beautiful. I'm hoping she does like a tutorial sometime where I can watch and figure it out because it was really pretty. So. Anyways, this is a finish I attempted just for, to try something new and different, um, and it turned out fairly cute, and I think it'll be cute when I master that a little bit more. Um, so that was a fully finished. This one was like a new, quick new start and a finish. This was a free pattern. Let's see, can I find it? Free pattern by, Cro I don't even know how to pronounce her name, Croquetta Gogo. -Go. Uh, just came out and it's a little cardinal now hers like her sample is 
on this, you know, like a tan, she has it on like a tan background. And so this globe is just really pretty and cute. But mine, I did on white fabric. And it's white opalescent Ada. But so that you wouldn't be able to really see that. And so I left off that, that globe and I just kind of did the bird in the greenery. And I think it's pretty, it's, it's cute. It's super cute. It was really quick. I think I sat down and worked on it two different times, but it, it was not very long. So, I'm trying to get the lighting. My lighting is, the wind. The window's over here, but I don't want to turn my camera too much. Let's see. Anyway, that was just a free pattern, and I think it's pretty cute. I'll probably turn it into a little ornament. Um, she has another one that I want to do also to go with it. And it's, this one doesn't have a demo picture but it's the same kind of thing just a different bird um, and I was thinking about trying that on this fabric so we'll see I don't I don't know if I'll do that or not I have so I have this little my little bag here has printouts from Shannon Christine and Erin Elizabeth and Croquetta Go Go and of like their freebies they've given out like so I have this bag of little freebies that I want to work on, so I don't know what the next one will be, but that was a quick, fun stitch, and I think some of those would be fun to do, you know, in this little, like, ornament type finish, so I want to keep working on those, but that was my second finish, and my third finish was a bigger one, not big, but bigger, and it was part of Whipco, so for Whipco... This is my first year trying it. It's like a bingo board, and you they call off two numbers each um, month, and you work on whatever you've written down for those for those two numbers. So for those for which she called number nine and twenty two. So on my board that I wrote, number nine was a finish, so I had to choose something and finish it. And number twenty two was a oh the little house needleworks. So I'm going to show you my little house needleworks one, but I'm going to show you my finish first. And my finish was a fall mill hill. Now, I don't have the pattern here. Um, this one had a border that I chose not to do, but it's the fall bench. And I just think it's so cute. This little guy keeps wanting to turn though. He wasn't on there super tight. So this was probably about half done when I said, oh yeah, I can finish it. And then it ended up taking me longer than I thought it would to finish it but I really like it you can see like these flowers those are like a lot of beads and there's beads in the trees there's this cat some of them some of the details are are hard to, to tell kind of what it is I didn't realize until I was stitching it that there's actually like one two three four five birds in there little teeny birds and there's this I need to retighten that I guess this little dog button guy. Um, and then there's a cat sleeping here. But this was my first ever buttons and beads kit. I've done those little, they're, you know, they're small like magnet ones, but this was the first larger one I finished. So that was fun. And I'm glad to have that one done because I started that probably maybe two years ago. Maybe not, but, well, a year and a half to two years ago. So I'm glad to have that one done. And now I can move on to other fun things and a new kit. <laughs> uh, the next, so that was my finishes. That's everything I finished. And I will show you my new starts at the end. So we'll go to my normal whips and then I'll go to my new starts. So the other number that was called for the whip go game was my Little House Needleworks holiday, hometown holidays. And the one that I'm currently working on is Main Street Station. And I started in the middle and went off this way to work on the like station building. Um, I'm doing this on Hobby Lobby's 32 count Murano ice. Sorry, let me see what's going on out there. Um, if you hear doors slamming, that's my kids going in and out. Uh, so, let's see. I don't have too far. I, I'm supposed to spend five days on it this month. That's my goal. And I've probably done like three days. So by the end of January, I have to spend a couple more days working on this one. And it should get 
a bit further. I am missing one of the colors for the house, so I need to find something to replace it with. These A lot of these call for specialty, and I just kind of uh, use DMC or something close. I'm, I'm stitching them all on the same piece. I've shown you this many times, but then I'll cut them out and finish them separately. So I'm on my fourth one, but I worked on that one. So that was fun. And then, what was next? Oh yeah, I wanted to work on full coverage, but I wasn't, I don't know, I pulled this out, but I didn't do very much on it, because there was more um, confetti than I really wanted to deal with at the moment. <laughs> but I worked for just a, just a couple hundred stitches on God Shed His Grace. This is by Artisy, and it's just so beautiful. But I'm in the middle kind of working over here and it's just a lot of confetti that I'm not having fun with <laughs> um so it's a lot of like browns and bluey grays I'm doing this on I think this is 20 count maybe easy grid and I'm doing it four over four over one tenth stitch so it's like pretty thick coverage so I worked just a little bit on that one and then what else did I do? I'm trying to keep these in piles where I know what's going on. Oh yeah. So I had mentioned before that one of my newer patterns after um, Thanksgiving, like I bought it during the Black Friday kind of time, was this pattern by, it was like Narnia X Stitch or something like that. Her name is Maria Os something. I can't pronounce her name. Um, but I think her, I think her shop is like Narnia X Stitch, possibly. So I got this pattern. And I just think it's really pretty and it reminds me of my backyard with the geese flying over. I'm in the country now and the deer. So I got this to work on. And then when I'm working on it, it's really not the easiest thing. And I get confused and I'm not exactly sure because if you look... Like symbol five, it says symbol five. So all there's no symbols, there's just numbers. So it says five, but it also says five down here. And down here, five is a half cross stitch, and up here, five is a full cross stitch. And it's the same color. And I'm like, well, how do I know which is which? So I I know some somebody else went and looked at their shop, but I'm not sure that I'd recommend them. I don't know if the other patterns are like this too. But it kind of has me stopping because I'm in, like, well, I don't really know. I think I'm just going to do it all as full cross. Like, they're probably trying to add dimension somehow, but I'm confused on what's what. So, I'm kind of irritated with this thing. I worked on it just a little bit, and then I set it aside, and I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep going or if I'm just too annoyed with it or if I'll try, like, full crosses. But I have it on this. I don't even know what this fabric is. I'm not sure, but it's like a, what do they call that? Not variegated, yeah, I, mottled kind of fabric. And I just started in the middle, so this is actually like the house over here. Um, yeah, so I just have a very small start, so I don't know. I like the pat. I like the picture, the image is pretty. I like this fabric, but I'm not sure how good the pattern is, so we'll see. I... I might keep going, but right now I'm annoyed with it. So there's that. I can't have anything too difficult because I usually stitch at night when I'm just done after the kids have gone to bed. So if it makes me think too hard, I don't necessarily like it very often. So there's that one. And another one I've been working on, and I'm like a day behind, but I've been keeping up except for one day behind, is my temperature chart by... Jardin Privé, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, this was from 2022, but I've just changed it to say 24. So each day you fill in a, a petal for the color of the day of the high temperature. And so you just choose your own. I think she gives an example, but um, I just choose, chose my own colors for if it was like between 40 and 45 degrees, I would use this color. And if it was between you know, 45 to 49, I would use this color. And I've just been going with each day, checking the high temp, what the high temp was, and filling it in. So, 
one is that. It's going to be pretty big. It's not going to be all of that, but it's going to be a decent chunk of it. Sorry, it's all wrinkly. So anyway, so far I just have the date and then these are the petals. I need to add another one to here for yesterday's. But we've had a couple different temperatures. And this day right here, we had major flooding. So I'm in North Carolina and a storm just that just went through the country caused like major flooding here. And I felt like I should put something on there for like big storm. Like if, if we have snow, I, I'm going to add like an iridescent kind of... I don't know, filament or like a shimmery white, I think, for snow day. We don't really get much snow here. But I feel like for like crazy big storms like that, I should mark it somehow too. But I don't know. So I did that. And then I've also got this little motif started. There's a few different motifs in there. And I kind of just, as I go through the row, I'm going to try to do that. So there's the bird and there's the gardener lady in her house. It's a, a little mushrooms. Um, and then at the end, you put your your color chart to show kind of the um, which colors you chose for what temps. And yeah, so that's pretty cute. It's a free pattern, and I'm having fun doing that. It's kind of fun to just, each time there's an, a new color. So it'll be fun to see as we go through, like, spring and summer and fall, see the colors change. So that's a fun one. Whew. Oh, my God. I'm breath talking too fast. I worked on this one a little bit. This one, I've loved the pattern for a long time, and I've had it in my cart, and I recently bought it. It's by Stitch Robia. It's called Christmas Town, and I really love how it looks. I, just, I think it's so pretty with all the bright colors. I love how those colors all look together. I think it looks really great. I don't, however, like stitching these. Some of these colors are like not my favorite colors to actually stitch so on their own I'm like hmm but then when it's all together I think it looks really pretty so that's my only struggle with this one but I started in the top like middle I came down from the top and I'm kind of over here and this is some kind of just even weave I think it must be some kind of 28 count even weave so whoops yeah, so like this orange and this kind of pea green, <laughs> soup <laughs> green. I don't know. They're not my favorite. But when you put all the colors together, I think it looks really pretty. I, just, I love the pop of color. So that one's fun. And I worked a little bit on that one. And then the other whip that I have shown you already was another one that was newer for Thanksgiving time like during the holiday sales. This is from Soda Stitch. It's called Four Seasons Window and it's the winter one. And I think it's very cute. Now all that in the window is snow. So it's all stitched in white pretty much. There's like a little bit of variation of blue sort of in there. And what I've decided is I'm stitching this on a 14 count opalescent Ada. And I'm going to try to leave out the window and just leave the opalescent Ada in the background to make it kind of like a snowy window. But like I said, there's some like a little bit of variation. So it's kind of hard. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to get that in there I'll, and figure out where, where one white spot is and one isn't. So I'm going to do my best, but we'll see how this goes because I really don't want to stitch all that white. But this is super fast, really fast stitch. Um really fast. There's just a lot of block color. Especially this curtain is gonna go like all the way down. So these just blocks of blue just continue on and on. I did screw up already, I realized, and I put I stitched white right in there and actually that's still part of the window. So I'm gonna have to frog out this patch right there. Because that's still in the window between them. But then down here they're on like a white bench, so I'll stitch that part, but super cute and I did start some of the back stitching on her and the cat and before that it just looked like a blob so definitely soda stitch has a lot of back stitch this thing has a lot of back stitch so that part does slow it down but this the actual like just cross stitching is really really quick on there especially because I'm doing it on 24 count but um let's see like without showing you too much of the pattern like oh, 
that's a lot of back stitch so that's gonna take me a while but that one's really fun I really like that one it's like an easy one to work on at the end of the day it's super fast I have it in pattern keeper and so I, I really like working on that one so those are my whips and now I have new starts and these came from well a couple of them came from Christmas and a couple of them came from Merry Christmas to myself <laughs> so let's see we'll start with the Christmas gift actually we'll do that one last let's do this Christmas gift so I told my husband these are the patterns I want I need this fabric <laughs> so I, already, I knew what I was getting but this is what I ended up with was let's see I don't want to show you the photocopies I make working copies so that I can cross off and not damage the real copies okay they're the country cottage needleworks um the beach boardwalk and I think there's seven in the series but I just chose three that were like the most relevant to me of kind of like when I when we go to the beach kind of what we do so I have the ice cream shop because we like to go to ice cream shops I have the boardwalk and I have the souvenir shop and I love the pastel colors in these so much like I said there's I think there's seven in the series but I'm just doing these three so it's I'm doing it on the called for fabric and I'm going to do all three in a line next to each other I started with this one the boardwalk and I started with that one in the center and I'm almost done I have a couple clouds and this uh, banner to finish um, so it's on the called for fabric and I did I requested from my husband some of the classic color works color so I went through and I looked at like what were colors that were among all of them that are classic color works. so I have a few classic color works and the rest I swapped with the DMC and I think it's pretty cute so let's see oh this has a tag it's um, 32 count sapphire star sapphire linen and I think that's the called for fabric too let's see do I have sorry everything is just wrinkly because it is my lighting is really not I need to figure out a better lighting situation here um so I've done that. The blue, dark blue at the bottom is is DMC, and now like that would have been a good one to probably have some variation into it, and uh, because it's just like a big chunk, but that's okay. It's still super cute, and I just love the colors. Again, I'm sorry for the <laughs> wrinkles in the lighting. Maybe I'll invest in some better lighting. Uh, so I need to finish the banner on the top, and then on the sides I'll do two more just a cute little beach theme so that one's almost done that was a new start and it's pretty close to a finish those are pretty fairly quick and I just love those pastel colors so that's fun and that was a Christmas gift for my husband we don't we don't do major gifts we do like one gift so that was my gift for him and then for my kids I gave them a list of like a few different options of patterns that I've been looking at or you know had on my Amazon cart so they worked with dad and got me this one now I know this is a super sorry for the glare this is a super popular pattern I know a ton of people are doing it I went back and forth on should I get this should I not get this and I almost bought it right before my kids right before Christmas and I'm glad I didn't I was like I shouldn't buy anything because who knows what people are getting me uh, but I just really love it. I Blue is like one of my favorite colors, so I love all the blue. I think I went back and forth because it was just so popular, but then I thought if I don't get it, then eventually it'll go, you won't be able to get it anymore, and then I'll be sad that I don't get it. So I got it, and I've started working on it, and I really love it. So I got that one, and it's the Aurora Cabin by Dimensions. And this see if I can get it closer because it's on the stand is my new, is my start on there and I just started on the bottom left corner this is my first time working with filament I don't think you can see it but the 
it's like shimmery so you stitch the white and then you stitch the shimmer on top of it and that's the first time I've done that where you like layer um yeah obviously a lot of blues I really like blue it's done on the blue Ada that it came with just everything in the kit and then what I was going to tell you about this why I brought this whole thing up is for, with my Christmas money I bought this stand and it goes up and down and it has on the top two holes so this is the daylight company stand and I've wanted a stand for these big projects because holding it in my hand is getting annoying and I, I really like it. I would only have had this for a few days. I got I found it on Facebook Marketplace on a deal. But it's a daylight stand. You can get attachments. There's a magnifying light that you can get to put over it. And there's another spot for this uh, chart, a clip. A, they, they go on like a bendy wire clip, you know, so you can adjust them. So one is the light and one is a clip for the chart, for a chart holder. But those are like uh, over $100 to get the set. Um, and I have another light in my area, so I don't know if I'll buy those, but the stand has been really nice. This kind of, you know, it adjusts and I can turn it over to work on the back and it just holds that off my hands. So it's been really nice. And then I got two of these. I got another one over here. Two, I don't know how big they are, like 24 inch maybe, uh, frames. And they were a major deal. These I got off either eBay or Mercari. Maybe Mercari. They were doing a deal. It was like if it was your first order and I never ordered from them. It was like $10 off. And I think I got both of them for $18. So it was like $8. It was like $4 per frame. Scroll frame. So I was really excited about that. So I got two new scroll frames. And then because I had the scroll frames that were too big to wrangle in my arms. So I was like, I need a stand. So I found the stand and it's working pretty well. I also then off, e off of Amazon just bought this clip. Now that holds my tablet. So now I can put my tablet on there. Have that ready to mark off. Or I have this flipped because I don't want you to see the chart. But I use those little magnets. Those little like cable tie, magnet cable ties. I can put, this is dimensions obviously, so it's a paper chart, so I can put my paper chart here and just kind of mark off and it's all right there and easy, easy access since I don't have that clip that holds it, but I don't, this works perfectly fine, so right now I'm really liking this. Um, my next, so that was my dimensions, my next new start I'll show you is a little harder, I have it on here also, but it's way up here and I'm finding this top corner is like hard to get my arm under. So I wonder if I add fabric and scroll it down so I can just work lower. If that might be easier, but I'll deal with that. I'm still learning the whole stand thing. But I wanted to show you that as a new setup. But back to the whips. I ooh, bought myself. I went back and forth and was finally like, I'm going to get this. So I got it. And I think I maybe showed you that I had bought this, but I hadn't kitted it up and had the fabric and everything. So... This is massive. This is The Pleasures of Winter by Terry Redland by Heaven and Earth Designs. I know Dimensions has one of these kits, but it's like out of stock. And this one has no backstitch because it's Heaven and Earth, so it's just big. So I thought, well, that'll be good. But it is 725 by 414. And if you do it on 25 count, it's 29 inches by 16 inches. Well, I didn't want to buy more fabric because I had already bought like a lot of things and so I was like well where can I find cheap like cheaper fabric so I got 18 count because usually I like um <clears throat> easy grid but that's it was like it'd be like 40 or 50 dollars for the large size so I thought I can't I can't keep doing that but I can spend like 15 dollars on 18 count so this is large fabric so this thing is going to be huge uh it's on 18 count, it's not gridded, but I just started whoop, up here in this corner. So really I'm just working on like blue sky and black trees. Um, and that's where I am. Now, this thing is massive. Like there's, <laughs> I have a ribbon tying it up because it's going to be huge because it's 18 count. 
And so, again, that's like why I got this stand. But see, it's, <clears throat> it's at the top, and I'm having a hard time getting my arm under it comfortably. I don't know. I might have to, I'm going to figure something out. But it's like I have to wrangle all this fabric somehow. <clears throat> now, the other thing is because it's 18 count, so I bought, oh, I should say this. I'm using CXC thread because I found that CXC is much more in my budget for when I'm doing these huge projects. So I put an order in for CXC thread, <clears throat> and that comes from, is it AliExpress? Oh, I think it's AliExpress. So it comes from China, and I, I don't, I can't just put in an order for them just all the time, like, oh, I need an extra thread. So I put in what I needed to do half, like a tent stitch, a half stitch on, I think it was eight, it's 20 or 25 count. Like I made sure I had enough for that, but I didn't account, and I already had that when I decided to go with 18 count. So I didn't account for the fact that this was bigger and I might need extra thread or floss. So now I'm worried I might run out. And so I tried to, I was like, well, let's just see if it's good enough coverage. So I tried to do two strands, half cross, and I don't think it's showing up on video so well, but you can, I mean, because it's so dark, like, you can see it needs to be more. So I'm probably going to have to go back over that. I, I, I won't have enough, I don't think, if I do four strands. So then I was like, okay, well, maybe if I just do three strands, it'll be enough. So I started doing three strands in the dark over here. I think if you're, if it was lighter, like a lighter color, it would be fine. I think from far enough, far enough away, you wouldn't really be able to tell. But because it's like such a dark scene, you can see. So, but anyways, I'm, so I'm doing three strands tent stitch now. And I think, I think that's a lot better. So I'm hoping if I do three strands on this 18 count, it'll still be all right. But we shall find out. So just a small start on that one on this massive thing. But I do find that these scroll frames really help. And um, yeah, so that was another new start. Whew. The last one was like a unicorn chart that I could not find anywhere. And it is from 2001. It's a Dimensions Gold Petite, Gold Petite, and it's Splendor at Night. And I found it on, I think it was eBay. I think, yeah, I think it was eBay. And I was so excited that I finally found it. And there it is. I love this one. I had I had not seen this on there. I could not find it for like the last year. And then that day, two of them came up. So it was unopened, brand new, and I was super excited. So I got that and I started in the middle, which put me, I'm up in this church now. So I can't get a new pattern pretty much without starting it. Let's see. It's hard to tell which is up and down because it's just still new, but it's a lot of half crosses so far and it definitely needs filled in, but <clears throat> I'm as excited just to get it started because I've been looking at it for so long. So there's that one. So I'm really excited. Now I have that pattern. I just think it's really pretty. Obviously, if you know me, I love the winter scenery. And this one is like all blue, so it's like that... Uh, Aurora Cabin, so it's not a bunch of white stitching, which is also nice. So I started that one. So, those are my new starts. And, um, yeah, it was. I've been having lots of fun. Now, I have two more things to show you. One of them is a pattern I just bought off Etsy. It's full coverage, and I'm not starting it right now, but I saw it and was like, wow, that's really pretty. I can't recommend this place though because I I they take a lot of patterns that are not theirs. But I tried to find I searched and searched to find if this was a legit pattern somewhere and I don't see I couldn't find it anywhere and so I was like it's so pretty I need this pattern I don't see it as a cross stitch pattern anywhere and so I bought it. Again, it was on Etsy. You can do your own web you can do your own thoughts of you know, if, if you know this is a pattern somewhere or not, but I could not find it. I think it's called Lake House. 
or yeah, I think it's called Lake House, but it was just so pretty. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I've never seen it before. And it was so, so pretty. That's a lot of green. But I don't have really like a spring full coverage. So, next time I do put a CXC order in, I'll be getting colors to do this. So I really like that one. And I just, yeah, had to buy that pattern. Um, okay, so that's all my cross stitch whips and everything. Now, if you're still here and interested, I just wanted to show you this because I'm loving it. I set up my stand downstairs. I've got my whole area, but I hate messy clutter. So I have a little table, just really little, like a little, uh, what are they, like TV dinner stand things. And I put my scissors and everything on there, but it's still cluttering. I don't like it. So I made a bag keep it all organized and I'm debating about maybe offering them in my shop so I want thoughts and opinions do you think this should be offered in my shop or not it does take a lot of time so it will be up there in price um, but for me it is perfect so let me show you about it so it's got front magnetic snaps it's all funky in my hand but they clip closed on the front and it's a nice big like cargo pocket and I have <laughs> some lotion in there and my little like finger cover thing uh, so that's put away and then it's got three spots which I'm using for you know pencils and scissors and then behind this and behind the flap and behind that is another like slit pocket where I have a neck light okay so that kind of is all nice and secured in there and it's it's sturdy it sits on the table okay and then there's two I don't have anything in these right now I literally just finished this last night there's two slip pockets back here and then there's also a zipper pocket on the back and then of course there's the zipper flaps on the sides it's hard to, hard to show you without setting it on anything um, and then the top zips open and I actually just have my I think this is like an 8 inch no maybe it's 10 inch my tablet so that I can I just got this tablet too it's like a cheap $70 tablet but I got that and I that fits in this bag on the inside so now everything can sit nicely and it's right at my fingertips and if I need to go anywhere I just grab this bag and one of my you know one of my my whip bags and off I go so I do keep scissors in all my bags just in case I want to grab one and go um, but I just I'm finding like since I sit mostly at one spot that just having everything there and contained is super nice and handy so let me know should I offer these in my shop is this anything that anybody would want or um, should I just keep it as this was a fun make for me so let me know in the comments below um, I'm so glad you were here to join me. I've been having so much fun with you guys, like I said. So thank you for watching, and I hope to be back about every two weeks. So I hope to be back in a couple weeks and show you more progress. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.